Can you hear me? Can you hear me a little bit? All right. I'm going to give you the opportunity, a few of you, to ask some questions. And, um, of course, I'm going to filter those. I'm going to come where you are. How many of you have a question for Brother Aaron and Brother Ed? Uh, 
verse of the Bible and you don't understand what he's doing, it is a good idea to read, go back and read the chapter? It's a great question, absolutely. I think that's the best way to do it. In fact, I think that's why, well, that's personally why I, uh, I like to bring my Bible to church, whether it's on your phone or whether it's in your hand. I like to bring my Bible because sometimes preachers misquote, I don't think they mean to. Sometimes they misquote or sometimes I don't understand and sometimes we read a verse before and I have to understand the context of it. I think that's great. In fact, the Bible talks about a church that after Paul got done preaching uh, the word to the people and they actually went back home and they studied out what Paul was preaching about and to see if those things were true or not just to confirm the word they had preached. I don't think that you should take everything that you hear preached just to apply and sinker without first Going back to the Word of God and prayer, saying, Lord, thank you for the Word that I heard. Thank you that it to me. Thank you for the Word that I heard. 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 Okay, but I was invited to come to Arkansas in 2014, and none of me, I'm old enough to be all of you dads. I'm 33 years old, and many times in this camp I have been able to keep in mind. That's scary. So, I'm hoping a lot from here. That's what it's about. Um, hopefully, I, I'm at my home church. The Lord's brought me back to my home church in my front of the aisle, and so I hope to be there continuing to pastor. Minister to me when I was growing up and ministering to them and giving back to them. That's where I want to be. Uh, well, I see myself uh, hopefully excelling in my first ministry, which is uh, being a husband to my wife and raising up three lovely children and uh, hoping uh, to teach them the way that they should go. Uh, I love the church that I'm in right now. I feel like God's led us there, He's called us there. We have a great past that we're under. And uh, so,